Como Garb Complexity using Prolog. Uh, in this episode, what we'll be doing is we'll be going over the homework assignment. But first, as usual, let us pay homage to the honor roll. <laughs> as usual, I am just completely amazed at how many people actually are turning in the homeworks here. And we actually picked up a few new faces uh, this time. For anybody else who's sitting on the sidelines, uh, yeah, feel free to hop in at any time. Okay, I will be happy to help you with old homeworks or anybody who wants to catch up. Uh, just, just feel free to, you know, email me, hop in. Okay, um, it was really, really, really uh, fun grading the homeworks this time. It's like one by one, I got email from people like uh, just reaching enlightenment. I mean, the realization is is uh, very clear after doing this homework, right? The more complex something is, the longer the computer program is which prints it out. And that's like the basic um, idea behind Kolmogorov complexity, really. And this gives us something which probability theory can't. Remember, a probability theory couldn't tell that Caputo was cheating because the, the uh, string that he gave had the same probability of any other string. But uh, we seem to have found something here which really can detect uh, when something was done uh, according to a pattern or not, right? So we have the best solution here. Um, this is the best I could come up with. Now, uh, a lot of you guys gave really, really creative solutions. A lot of you guys gave um, uh, solutions using, for example, recursion or other uh, uh, features of Prolog that we really haven't talked about yet. But uh, I kind of deliberately chose this string because the shortest solution that, that I could think of anyways didn't use recursion or any other features that uh, weren't covered already. Now notice what we did was is, is we um, we factored out some of the uh, re repetition in the string, right? We've identified this as a repeating pattern. Uh, we, we found the the pattern repeats itself twice before the t and twice twice after the t, right? So that's basically how it works. You squeeze out the repetitions, the patterns that are there, and of course, uh, for the second one where you're flipping a coin. Uh, of course, you're not going to be able to find any patterns there with very, very high probability. Okay, uh, special honors to uh, Mistook, Caspian, 1421, 126, Alt-F4, and Fold Soup. Uh, they all got the shortest solution. A special mention to uh, Max Skiscam2, who very nearly came up with the optimal solution, but did it all in his head because he didn't install Prolog. This guy has an amazing uh, ability to do things in his in his head or do things manually. I mean, he he didn't uh, have a computer program and he was able to solve a traveling salesman problem, which was very difficult, too. So uh, this this guy is uh, is pretty amazing. So at any rate, um, that's it. That's the best solution that I could come up with. So let, let's talk about this for a while. A lot of you mentioned this. It's kind of amazing that that is the shortest solution, right? You would think it'd be like really, really lesser. But it's really hard to come up with a solution with shorter than just printing the string out, right? And that's kind of the point. If you found a shorter program which prints out, even if it's not very much shorter, even if it's just slightly shorter, uh, then you've really found something. You've really discovered real pattern that's there, real, um, you know, real compressibility. So, um, now, before we anoint this as being some sort of like a global thing or something, you might be having several nagging doubts in your mind. Well, isn't this dependent on the programming language? Uh, for example, uh, Caspian uh, 1421 gave a solution in the program language Perl for this. Uh, and uh, yes, okay, it's like if you have different programming languages, you'll have different uh, different uh, lengths. But, okay, there's an important sense, which we'll talk about later. There's an important sense in which the answer is no, no matter what programming language you use. For most strings, this measure will be the same or will quantify the same thing in a certain sense of being the same. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like measuring temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Um, you know, you're still measuring the same thing. You're still measuring temperature. And it still means the same thing, no matter if it's, you know, the 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. I mean, there's a certain sense in which you're measuring the same thing. And uh, we'll very formally explicate this and talk about it. But in order to really see why this is, we'll have to learn a, bit, a little bit more about Prolog. Um, and so uh, on to the next lesson in Prolog, uh, when we'll fill out some details, and then we'll come back to uh, showing just exactly how universal this Komogorov complexity measure is. Thanks a lot.